Come join me today in a special happy birthday yoga. Whether it's your birthday or not, this is a great activity to do when you need some down to earth grounding and a little celebrating of yourself. This is a very special yoga. This is a happy birthday yoga. And I'm doing this for a very dear friend of mine whose birthday is being celebrated today. Today, I'd like to honor her and thank her for her friendship and for all the adventures we've had together. So this one's for you. Happy birthday, Karen. Okay, so we're going to start today in a comfortable seated position, and I mean comfortable. So if you have a very flat pillow, blanket, or something folded towel, get that, and then get yourself settled in so that you're going to be very comfortable on your mat. And um, come into the center of your mat and Find yourself settling down and getting ready to celebrate this day and this trip around the sun and this wonderful, wonderful practice of taking care of yourself because, well, it's the only body we've got so we might as well take care of it and yoga is a very good way to help yourself, your body and your mind be happy and healthy and what a way to celebrate your day. So we'll uh, begin in a little mudra if you want to put your hands together in your lap or on your knees and uh, feel yourself grow nice and tall with through your spine and your crown of your head coming up to the ceiling. Just let it all go, all the excitement of the birthday all the anticipation of what might happen today and just be in this moment because this is really the only moment we have now. So close your eyes and find your breath. And sigh it out. Inhale that energy up your spine and let it go, shoulders drop. Mm, you can sigh if you want. Finding a moment of stillness, a moment of calm before we begin our practice. Now let's this next exhale be the longest and deepest exhale you've had, emptying and bringing all of the air out, squeezing the abdominal muscles in. And then on the next inhale, raise your hands, slow motion, through honey, up as you inhale, overhead, just reaching and slowly rain your fingertips down to your side. Inhaling up, looking to the sky, and exhaling down. One more time. Inhaling up, and as your hands come up together, grasp your right hand to your left, and I'm not going to mirror, so do opposite of what I do, and squeeze your right hand to your left wrist, and go to your right. Actually, any side is fine, but I'm going to my right side, and I'm feeling that stretch through my left body here, left side. Now inhale, both hands up, and opposite arm grab, and exhale over to that side. Inhale back up. Now let's twist to our right side. Left hand comes to our right knee, and it 
it's not a cranking twist, it's an engaging the core muscles and wringing it out. Breath. Inhaling back up. Exhale to the left side. Still some blue sky. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Let's bring our hands for a moment to our heart. And let's honor our parents. Let's honor especially our mother on our birthday. Whether she's with us or not, whether she's alive or not, we're going to honor our mother because really birthdays are all about birthing and this was a special day for your mom. And so we'll just give thanks for our moms. Hmm. Send lots of love to her. Okay, now we're going to do uh, some seated twists. So let's take our right leg and you could stay on your blanket or pillow if that helps you, or you can get rid of it. And uh, going to bring the left, keep the left leg in front and uh, put your right leg nice and straight out. So we're sitting in a position here so that we're ready to do some side stretching. So we're going to, um, if this hurts your knee, you can always put a little pillow towel or blanket underneath your knee to, knee to make sure that nothing is hurting in this stretching. Likewise, if the bent knee hurts, you can prop it up with your pillow too. Pillows and yoga go very well together. Okay, so let's uh, twist away from this bent knee uh, and over to the straight leg. So we're going to line up our hips with a straight leg Inhaling tall, inhaling our hands gently up and bringing our nose up and like we're going over a bar to a forward fold over this extended knee. Keep your foot flexed and wiggle your toes a little and inhale, straighten that back and then exhale. Let that hips go. Let the breath help you sink gently into this seated forward fold. And then just be here. And as you're breathing, you'll notice maybe the muscles around your hips, around your shoulders, relax. And a good way to do that is to concentrate on your jaw muscle. So you can make some funny faces and just wiggle your jaw and let all the tension out of your jaw, let it go. Let it out, let your brow become smooth. <laughs> and breathe out. You may find yourself as your jaw and your face relaxes, that the rest of your body can follow suit. Inhaling a little bit long, exhaling. A little bit deeper. We're just starting out, so there's no need to arrive at any preset idea. Just keep it soft. Inhale back up, and then we're going to uh, twist away from our straight leg, and um, you can put your right hand on that leg, and inhale the opposite leg, my <laughs> opposite arm, my left arm is going to come up. So we're going to face forward, and we'll do a side stretch, getting the side body stretched. You can look up or under your armpit. Check it out. And uh, relax. Another breath. You long and exhale. Now coming up. Wide arms all the way up to the ceiling. Let's draw that knee in and uh, bring your legs out in front. Sit up and do a little pitter-patter, a little rain and thunder, depending on your floor. Roll your ankles around, get your ankles, twist your spine. Loosening up and getting ready for the other side. So let's bring our left leg over to the other side. 
drawing our right foot into the thigh, sitting up tall. We're going to put the right hand on the right knee and twist our hips around. Coming up, you can kind of push up. Remember using your pillow if you need it, if it helps that any knee pain. Up, nice and tall, and inhale, and exhale up and over the bar, like you have a big pillow here. And then let your shoulders go, let yourself relax. Finding some stillness and relaxation in our face again, our jaw, and that can help us loosen up through our hips and our lower back. Extending and releasing. One more deep breath here. And walk yourself up. Bring yourself twisting around so that your hips and your shoulders are facing the front of the room. And then you can uh, bring your right hand, sweeping it up in an arc along your side body. Extending your spine long as you inhale and exhale over to the left straight leg. Shoulders drop down and um, you're just here. You're not cranking, you're just being gentle. And if it doesn't feel good, then find a way to modify it so that you're comfortable you're just at the edge. Using the breath to help you stretch a little bit more. Okay, inhale the hands up and down and then use your hands to help gather your knees together in front of you, both of your legs in front of you. And now we're going to do a cobbler pose. So cobbler or tailor pose, or if you're into butterflies, this could be a butterfly. So just give yourself a little permission to play. And um, if you need your pillow again, you can put it a little bit behind your hips as wedge to just not under, but just as a wedge so that it helps push you forward just a little bit and help you get taller. And if this is where you are, that's okay. Just be here with time and with practice, regular practice, you'll find that even the tightest of muscles can slowly relax over time and become more flexible. And when we're more flexible, we're more likely to feel a little bit younger. So yoga is my way of reversing the clock a little bit um, so that I can maintain some of uh, the pain-free, injury-free, healthy body that I want. <laughs> Don't always get, but that's what the goal. So yoga is one way to do that, taking care of this body. You may find yourself coming forward just a little bit, bringing your hands, if you can, to your ankles. Give them a little squeeze. And open up your chest, drop your shoulders down. And maybe bringing your head in the general thought of down towards the floor. You know, it can just be an, an imagination for some of us. Others really can do this. One more breath here. Exhaling it all out. And then rolling the spine up. And we're going to come to do a little core work. So this will be uh, in honor of Karen, my dear kayaking friend. And um, we're going to keep our feet to the ground here. 
and sit up nice and tall and then we're going to put your hands on your shoulders and lean back a little bit so you're nice and straight as much as you can through your back and engaged in your core muscles you may come back a little more and then we're going to imagine we're out in Prince William Sound. We've got our kayak paddle here, but we're going to let our waist do the work. So we're going to kayak to the left and to the right and just find a rhythm like we're even coming up and down a little bit as we pull the kayak through the water, protecting our shoulders and just letting our core do the work. And if you do this enough over time, for hours and hours in your kayak, you will feel your obliques get strong and you'll work towards what um, we call the skinny waist. Whether or not it actually happens, the muscles will get stronger. So protect your back though and just do what you can. Paddle along, imagine the blue water, the magnificent mountains, and uh, if you want, you can raise your feet up into more of a boat pose. And kayak a little more. And then we'll do the V if we can. Back into a little ball. V, open the chest and back into a ball. And then to be really in a ball, we'll come down onto our back and just roll side to side. Massage out our back. And a great counter stretch for this is called the fish. So we'll take our hands, put them underneath, palms down our glutes, and bring your elbows in, and then just kind of push your chest up and find a nice counter stretch. Opening the chest, and stretching out the psoas muscle a little bit. Hands overhead, make yourself nice and long. Put your toes, reach forward. Feel like you're being stretched long as you can. And then hands down to your knees drawn up. Do a little ball again. Rock back and forth. And we're going to come back, rolling over to our side into a cat cow. So we're going to do our cat cow and uh, so hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and we will arch ourselves up as we exhale. And inhale, nose comes up, belly drops down. And arching up again into our cat. I won't meow for you. I won't. And uh, I'm not going to move either into our cow. But, you know, we can imagine it. And uh, we can even do a little hissing. And then turn your toes under. And get ready to push up into a down dog. Mm, nice down dog. Cats and dogs. So, uh, feel yourself in... Just stretching out, hips can sway from side to side, heels can uh, walk up and down. Be protective of your wrists, so really press into this L of your um, index finger and thumb. Lighten up on your elbows a little bit. And now take a deep breath, let your hips come up to the ceiling, up on your toes. And exhale those heels down as far as they'll go. Inhale one more time, up on the toes. And exhale down. Let's come back down onto hands and knees. We're going to do a little thread the needle. Good uh, shoulder stretch here. So we can do this from either a um, puppy pose where we put our hands out in front or you can stay in your, your cow and just bring your right hand and put it under the left armpit and reach that shoulder, or roll on the right shoulder. You can tent your fingers and just feel a gentle stretch in your right shoulder. If you want to feel it more, you can raise your left hand up 
or put it towards your lower back, your sacrum back here, and sort of open up that left elbow to the sky. One more breath. And come back into our, slowly Michelle, into our tabletop. We're going to take the opposite arm, the left arm, and we're going to reach the left arm all the way through underneath the right armpit. And I get a chance to look up at the snow on the mountains and uh, roll that shoulder Raise your right hand up if you want and settle it on your lower back if that feels good. And feel a little lovely stretch in your shoulders. One more deep breath. And exhale. Bringing that right hand back, we'll come back into our child's pose. So drop your hips back towards your heels, and you can have a wide, wider knees if this is good on your knees. If your knees hurt, one little trick is just to put your pillow under here, under in between your uh, bent legs. Otherwise, settle on down, your forehead to the ground, and whatever is comfortable. I love birthdays. Birthdays are wonderful. Okay, let's come up back up onto our heels and um, let's, uh, I'm going to face forward. Let's um, turn our toes under. And one little trick my teacher Mel taught me is to grab your pinky toe, and pull it forward, and get your pinky involved in the party. So this is a great foot stretch for tired feet that have been hiking or skiing or anything that needs a little foot stretch. So if you want, your hands can come to your heart and you can feel your spine nice and long and tall. Okay, now it's time for some dynamic stretching. We're going to do a series of down dog and gentle lizard lunges. So we'll do that on our right side and our left side. And uh, then we're gonna do some more runner stretch in case you have been hiking or running. So let's um, <clears throat> come into a plank on your mat. And uh, again, be aware of your wrist, press into your fingertips and have your shoulders over your hands. Engage your uh, whole abdominals, squeezing that belly bed and in. And as you do that, raise up your heart between your shoulder blades and your belly button just a little bit. Feel your neck grow long because your neck is an extension of your spine. And then we're going to bring ourselves into a down dog. So we raise your hips up and you may need to uh, walk your feet forward or hands back to a wonderful down dog. We'll take our right leg and we're going to raise the right leg as we press into our left foot. So raise your right leg into a lovely three-legged dog. Point, point, flex your foot. And then slow motion, bring your knee up underneath your chest towards your heart. They say towards your nose. I've never been able to do that. Maybe towards your heart. And then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand in a nice lizard low lunge. And then we're going to inhale that foot, drag it back up into three-legged dog. And lower the right leg down. We're going to do the same thing with the left leg in left-legged, three-legged dog. So raise your right foot, point and flex. I mean, your left leg, point and flex. 
your left foot as you're in an extended three-legged dog and slow motion slow. up into that lizard you can rock back and forth Ooh. and then back into down dog both feet together we'll try it again right foot raises up Slow motion on the exhale, coming forward. Let's do a little twist, right hand goes up. Exhale, the right hand down and foot back into plank. Inhale up into down dog. Left foot comes up and exhale that left foot slowly. And to a lizard. Left arm rotates slowly to the ceiling in a lovely twist. A happy birthday twist. Back down with the hand, back with the leg, back into down dog. Now we're going to draw that right foot up into three-legged dog again, and we're going to bring it all the way forward between your hands this time. I have to drop my leg, my left knee, drop your left knee, and then um, come forward into a low lunge. Squeeze your legs into the midline, like there's a midline right in the middle, and squeeze everything in toward your center, finding some stability. Now exhale back into a runner stretch. You can flex and point your foot if that feels good. If you have some blocks handy dandy, I like to use blocks in this one. And coming forward again to that low lunge. Exhaling back, knee towards the nose. Inhaling forward. And slowly exhaling back into the hamstring stretch. Okay, I'm coming back to plank now. Might as well do a push up if we can. Slow push up. And then left leg comes up. Three legged dog extending, extending. Try to bring a little higher this time. And slowly bring the left knee all the way down and through to a low lunge, keeping that right knee on the ground. Use your blocks this time. Squeezing in towards the center to find some stability. Opening through the chest. And then inhale one more time, nose goes up. Exhale back into the runner's stretch. Point and flex. And come forward again. Inhale. Exhale. And our last and third time coming forward. Last and third time coming back. And then we're going to bring our knees together and come back into a child's pose. And then draw yourself forward so you're laying on your belly, your nose comes forward, your hands are on either side. We'll give it a little counter stretch of a gentle baby cobra. Head comes up while your hands are right next to your, uh, under your armpits. Relax your legs. And don't crank your neck. Exhale down to the floor, right head, right cheek on the floor, hands back by your hips, and just take a moment to sigh. Ah, do nothing. Do nothing. 
Okay, this time we're gonna do a little baby cobra with no hands, more of a superwoman, superman, flying art, raise our hands up and our feet up to a little bow. And exhale, left cheek down. <sighs> okay, that's the best part. And then we're going to push up again. So put your hands in a push up and slowly push up. And then walk your hands and feet together so you're in a forward fold. We're in a forward fold. Soft knees. Soft shoulders, soft neck. And then walk your hands to your shins or your thighs and uh, come up into a half flat back, half fold. And then back down, exhale. And inhale, rain your fingertips up. Oh, into a chair. And then exhale down into a squat. So you may want to bring your feet wide as your mat and uh, bring your, roll up your shirt sleeves so we can get down to work here because we're going to do a little crow. It's been crow weather lately. So we're going to honor our crow and do a little balance or attempt to. So hands are wide like a starfish down underneath and then we'll come up on our toes a little bit and try to bring our knees as high as we can oops that's kind of the wrong spot for me as high as we can and um, just bring the weight forward you can bring one foot up and the other foot up and then squeezing your legs together knees towards each other come up into a little crow and you can do that a couple times playing. If you fall, that's fun. Just try to have a soft blanket there if you think you're gonna fall. And then back. So that's fun, a little playful yoga. Well, we're coming towards the end of our, our yoga, birthday yoga, but it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be complete if we didn't do a little bit of, um, a final spinal twist and a little bit of our laying down twist. So uh, we're going to lay down on our back, stretch out long, bring one knee up and point and flex your ankles and toes and then extend the right leg up if you or whatever leg is up, extend it. It's probably your favorite leg so just we won't even go with the right and lefts. And then uh, draw the, the knee that's on the ground and the leg that's on the ground. Draw that up with the heels towards the buttocks and uh, come to a figure four, as we affectionately call this, so that your, your knee is bent, your ankles are on your bent let your uh, quad, <laughs> and uh, flex that foot in your figure four you may be able to reach through behind both legs or one leg or not you may rock back and forth in a little modified happy baby happy birthday baby you're not getting older you're just getting better that's what they used to say right and then both feet up and switch so that the opposite leg is down on the ground Opposite foot is up high. And uh, coming to the figure four on the opposite leg, reaching through, opening through your chest. This is a whole body stretch. Pointing and flexing that figure four leg, both legs. If you feel any tightness there, you're not alone. And uh, now let's let go gently, bringing both knees to the chest. And my just favorite go-to final spinal twist, hands out in a T and uh, go to your favorite side in honor of not having to worry about left and right. 
Go to your favorite side. And just let both knees come down. You can do whatever variation of twist works for you. I'm keeping it simple today. Just feel some wonderful energy run up and down your spine, melting all those muscles and your hips and spine that keep you you hunched over so that you get nice and long and flexible. And then slowly bring your feet together, knees to your chest, bring your nose to your knees in a little ball, and back down, twisting to your other side. Ha-ha! <laughs> you may find one side's a little easier than the other. But with yoga, we work on both bodies, both sides of our bodies, both bodies, the astral body and the physical body. We work on balance. And all of this is so good, not only for both bodies, but it's also good for our mind, for our sense of letting go of anxiety, Letting go of that which we cannot control. All we really can control, hopefully, is our breath and our attitude. And then we are going to spend a minute in a birthday Shavasana. So get yourself into a Shavasana pose, corpse pose, because we're not dead yet. We're still kicking. If you're here listening to my video, you're probably still alive. So uh, settle down, be aware of yourself on the floor, on the earth, feel your connection to our mother earth. Maybe today you are lucky enough to feel the energy of the sun, that wonderful light. But there's another light besides the solar light Another energy besides the visible and invisible light from the sun. And it's all around us and we can use our breath to tap into that energy. It's all that we are on the quantum level. We are just energy. So as your breath settles in and you feel yourself grow heavy, Feel yourself relax. Feel the energy of every atom spinning and vibrating and humming. Feel the crown of your head relax and your face, your jaw. Feel that warmth of light coming through your crown of your head from the universe, down your neck, down your spinal column, radiating out into all the nerve points, axons and tendrils, down your arms, glowing in a wonderful warmth in your palms of your hands. Coming down your spine, into your abdominal and your internal organs, keeping them healthy. Into your lower spine, grounding in your sacrum. Feel that relaxation continue down through your hips and your legs. Your knees get lots of extra special love today. Little swirling balls of light that are healing. And your calves, of course, grounded. Ankles are healthy. And all of your 10 toes. 
so relaxed. You are light. You are love. You are energy. Feel free to stay like this as long as you want. Or you can bring your hands to your forehead and whisper with me, happy birthday, namaste.